look at that, the third place playoff and both of those sides gunning all the way to the end. South Africa just holding on to take out the bronze medal in Hong Kong. We turn our attention now to the big one, the cup final, New Zealand versus Fiji. The two best teams ever in the history of this shorter form of the game. Look at the head-to-head, 44-40 across the years. New Zealand have won more Hong Kong sevens titles since the series began in the professional era. But over the years since it began 40 years ago, Fiji have been dominant. Probably back New Zealand, really. Um, so it should be good. Uh, be Speaking good of fun. Fijian yeah. greats, look at yeah. that, Waisali Serevi. He's a happy man. Perhaps the greatest of them all looking on. Um, it's been a tough year for Fiji, hasn't it? There's been the what, Hurricane Winston that happened, devastated the Fijian Islands just before the Las Vegas event. They ended up going on to win that and uh, it's been an emotional time for them and they just love playing in Hong Kong don't they? Oh, I absolutely love it like wherever you go really Fiji have such a good following and it's like it's such a, a big sport it's the number one sport over there so they, they love it they love playing in front of big crowds like this and but all, the, all the fans from home always watching yeah, as I said before anywhere they go there's so many Fijian fans all in a little group in one, one part of the uh, part of the stand just cheering them on and they, they, they love performing in front of this big crowd talk about milestones. DJ Forbes is equaled the great Samoan player Oali Mai at this event. More events than anyone in the, hi in the history of professional rugby sevens and uh, she wouldn't he would like to get one over his great rivals here. Yeah definitely. I mean DJ Forbes has played Fiji plenty of times and a lot of times in cup finals so this isn't going to be something that he's not used to. Uh, maybe the only difference being that he's got down that he's down to 10 men but if there's one captain you'd want when your number's down, he's probably up there in, in, um, in someone that you'd want. So, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Well, they've graced the cup final in Hong Kong, these two teams, many times before. They rarely disappoint when they come together in the title match at any event. Fiji, defending champions. New Zealand, the most successful team in recent times in Hong Kong. Your commentary team after the anthems for the Hong Kong Sevens Cup final are Carl Fanana and Keith Quinn.
beautiful version and motion from Pio 2 Y as they stand united under noble banner blue one of the lines from the Fiji anthem and there is the team the New Zealand no question about the pitch tactics Forbes Messam and Williams his three toughest forwards then it'll be a Gillies cutter at the halfback and the upside will be Ware, Aki and Baker in the backs and the Ben Ryan reasoning for this one without Rawata he's number 11 he's injured is uh, to bring in the Iceman Ice Katonambau and there is our referee for this one Matt O'Brien he's uh, representing world rugby these days resident in Buenos Aires the referees are going to be announced for the Olympic Games in 24 hours perhaps it's a, a, an indication of Matt's hopes he's resident in Buenos Aires we are all resident in Hong Kong as you are at home for what we hope will be an epic final away goes the kickoff from Gillies Kaka New Zealand in the black Fiji in the black and white and they meet again I'm Keith Quinn and with me is Carl Tanana who played in two finals here against Fiji in the World Series and it might have been three counting another one before the World Series started and there is the man they call Ice uh, Katanimbao and this is a running team feels slightly soft after heavy rain five or six hours ago but uh, we can expect a lot of crazy paving in this one Gillies Kaka trying to get it over the top Katanimbao and Colin Sao in there and the first stoppage favours New Zealand here's Carl yeah Keith thank you good evening everyone everyone watching at home the assignment for New Zealand will be to contain the offloads of the Fiji and cut off the support lines as they just did with Kurt Baker Fiji well they'll want to create one v one matchups and play space not get the close contact seven young men from two teams on the field going to the sporting wishing well with this one Point. and even Pitch. talking to each other still in the front Point. rows Sonny Bill oh. Williams in the conversation there with episode Dumalele Gillies Kaka away to Kurt Baker out into the midfield where it's been a big decision made by Coach Titchens to bring in Peter Aki for his hard driving play and that's a good example of it and here is Kaka from Baker out wide to Sunny Bill. Hard into the opposition's Conan Bell. What a collision that was. What a great start and attack by New Zealand though, Keith. The spread of one side of the field, Peter Aki being very strong and Dom Lolo before he packs into the scrum against. Look at this guy. All fired up. Going in against Sonny Bill Williams. So here they come into the line out to match up for the throw. New Zealand's, well, that's comfortably won by Dumalele. Goal line right there. And a typical Fijian seven style. They pass it from the red zone. And they don't care how they do it. Away he goes. Colin Nassau, we've seen him so often do this. He bursts 50 metres out, but then kicks a crazy ball across to Liam Messon. Uh, the double Commonwealth Games gold medalists for New Zealand back in sevens trying to get his way into the Olympic Games Sonny Bill Williams tough men in the forwards Messon Williams and DJ Ford another pass from Messon this is Regan Weir the youngest man in the New Zealand team absolutely buried then by Fatima Rahubu taken by Gilles Kaka with about 10 metres DJ Ford wins it to his left Baker. Three tries in the quarterfinal. He scored against Wales. That's six times we saw his thumbs up. I'll be hoping for thumbs up at the end of this final. So there is Sonny Bull again taking it into contact. Where to Forbes. And here is Aki. Oh, what beautiful sidestep by. This is terrific stuff from New Zealand, and he's lifted the lid. 
for Peter Ikea's so abrasive. Can play in the forwards, but also in the centre position. A World Cup winner for New Zealand and Russia. DJ Forwards realises where the space was. Goes on the outside of Kalini South. The great footwork by Peter Arki is there for one reason. That's to snap people in half. But on this occasion, he gets it done on attack. Man up against him, Jerry Two Eyes. A brilliant player. But look at the breadth, the width, whatever you call it, of these side steps from Peter. Yeah, very hard to defend, especially when the defence is going backwards. He uses gas to get on the outside of Clemens Howe, and then he uses a step and he comes for a break to the sideline. He's done the start, or he's got the start New Zealand needed. Kaka adds the conversion. That's 7-0 to, to New Zealand. I haven't yet mentioned it's a 10 minutes each way uh, final, as it is all over the HSBC 7s series matches. And there's Colin, so what a brilliant break that was. It was all going to be a, a try for Fiji at the other end. He made that kick across field. Here's Katonimbao. Again, trying to find wingspan. Kumalaila. But two and over time. Met some fast hands. Cut up. Sunnyville gets one of his trademark offloads. Mulia is into the game off the bench. New Zealand only have three on their reserve bench. Fiji, thanks to better injury of record, have five. Here is Ruru Rabubu. Stop! Well, a leaving penalty for Fiji, no doubt no about advantage. that, Jesus. The final down. has flown by. Six minutes nearly up on the clock, already gone. Ten minute halves, as you say, but Fiji needs something right now. Jerry too wide. Tough times back home for these Fiji players with the suckling. Oh, there's two way giving his own version of sidestep. And what does the referee say about the fact that he's fallen to the deck? In comes Domalala on Regan Ware. Goal line right there. Kaka over the top. Referee has awarded a penalty for Fiji. Which way will I go? It apparently back at halfway. The tackle was okay. And here is charge for the line referee has made a call there on Kaluni Sao and before that I think Tom Lala actually went to Dick on the chasing play and I don't think he'll be able to do that but PG take it quickly got to take the chances in the final and take the chances Jerry too wide Well, he's the one that made the initial break when they needed it. They'll keep it in their own quarter. He used the step to great effect. He kicked the ball over the top. Why do you think some of the New Zealand players were conversing with the referee? They were caught off guard, guard so that's good recognition by that man on screen. So Jerry Tuwai has scored it. He's a 25-year-old from the Maris Club. His ambitions are to become a minister of religion. The conversion is over. It's a seven-all, two and a half minutes to go till the half-time break. Is anyone game? Anyone's game at this stage, Carl? Oh, most definitely, Keith. And there's the kickoff. This is where Fiji is so dangerous. Options from the line sideline, Domalala and Forbes resting to see what, which way the call has gone. And the call has gone against Fiji. Domalala thought uh, it was a Slide Fiji play throw in. And New Zealand will just take another set piece here. Fiji playing into their hands, they're all disciplined. New Zealand will slow it down. New Zealand coach Gordon Titchens. That expression, by the way, never changes much, not even at any stage of a big one-sided victory, let alone here tonight in this kind of uh, knife-edge atmosphere. Kaka throws beautifully. Lewis Allman is into the game. There are um, more substitutions allowed these days. Here is Regan Ware. A uh, very good uh, run by him. Colin right. Nassau's the tackle, fast hands through to the midfield now, where Sonny Bill will try them on. And he's got a, one of his dispatches away. Ormond, ridden down by Barry Malua. 
There's the 22 meter strike. New Zealand coming on attack. Baker. He's caught by Barry Malua. Away they go this time. Rabubu. Domalailai. Katonimbao. Look at the reading where oh. hanging on for dear life. Kicked away by Forbes. Back. The old workhorse. Back. Plenty of work still left in his tank. Well, I can't understand oh, some of these decisions here Play. at the moment. There was a Fijian player offside. They're all over the ruck. I know the frustration's written all over DJ Paul's face. You see there the indestructible man. 79th tournament. He'll break that next week in Singapore. Coming into the half time. Just listen. Bell, Don Malala, very Malua. Okay. On the far side Earth. ice, the Tanenbaud did service in, uh, in Egypt and the peacekeeping. Set. Okay, here comes Don Lissau. Always dangerous when he's got the ball and running. Oh, oh there's another one. Slipped away, kicked heavily. Knock on. And lost four. And mistakes. Perhaps due to the tiredness, the slipperiness. Exciting stuff though. Half time has reached. Seven all here in the Hong Kong Sevens of 2016. Well, couldn't be tighter at half time. Seven points all. New Zealand with the early try. Fiji responding through Jerry Tuai. Just going to go in the huddles here now and here. First of all, from Gordon Titchens. between players and coaches alike. Uh, what did you make of that, Marcus? Yeah, it's interesting. You see uh, Gordon Titchens talking about Jerry Tuai and how, you know, they need to close his space, and that's pretty much exactly what you, what you need to do. You see on his try, he just does a couple of stutter steps and bang off the right foot. It's so difficult to defend against, but the best way is just a flat line and surrounding him. Dan Ben seems to think things are in control of this game, and if they don't make errors, then he, he thinks they'll be OK. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Ben's telling them to, to keep the ball, and uh, that's quite quite hard with how Fiji play. They like to throw an offload, but um, yeah, I mean, if you look to them compared to New Zealand in the huddle, they look really calm, really collected, and just look like they're taking everything on board. So, you know, if you're going off body language, I think back in Fiji here to sort of stay calm and keep the ball and, and go on and win it. Well, there's their captain, Osea Kolinasau. So often in cup finals, he's come up with a big play. Seven points each. Fiji. Let's get back to Carlton Arno and Keith Quinn. Away we go in the second half. Cathay Pacific. Hong Kong Sevens final for 2016. <laughs> greatly hosted here again. Privileged to be here. The final. Far from being decided. Look at uh, two white dancing like a middleweight boxer on the halfway line. And there's another example of some tremendous play by Kalinisau. 
This time it's Domalala again. Here comes Katanimbao. Still only on the halfway line. Probing though. In goes Ware. Throws him down. But has he made the space? Here's it. They come. It's with Vedemalua. Colin is out. Good play. Kunitani. Semi Kunitani. Regan Ware. With referee's whistle brings them back. Yeah, I think a little knock on here by Morley. I think it was. I actually thought he let it go, but desperation from New Zealand in defence. Great attack by Fiji. Starting to get the off by Semi Kunatani throwing out the back door. Just there, I think, Keith. Come off. Something's happening. There's Ware, this young man, his first season with the uh, New Zealand 7s team. Number 10, you'll see in the New Zealand team. Going into the back oh, line is uh, out of Hamilton, boys high as, as this man is, Isaac Titamaki. And this is for the season for Royal all West. countries. Three Fijians. Top of the list, Verimalua, Tuai and Ravata. There's one in fifth place too, Keith is just playing in another jersey for Scotland. Going oh, after Bob. That's right. Boy. Generous players, the Fijians. Generous in spirit. Let's see how this one unfolds. Kalinga is on the field. One of the most brilliant players in the last few weeks for Fiji. And the kick has gone too far from Kunatani. Geez, that was the right idea though, Keith. There was a lot of space in behind and very little def defence for New Zealand. Just overcooks it a little bit. But New Zealand has used to Timmy Kunatani oh. it up because he's so good at taking... Those physical exchanges and getting the off way great variation by the beast. Make sure you stay behind him. Ah! Making sure we've got seven. Just counting to see that Fiji oh. haven't got an extra man on the field. There was one just crossing the touchline being subbed off. It's reflected off the hands to Tuwai. Lewis Orman is number one. Well, there's a few mistakes coming in. We've got to challenge and compete in a final every instant, every moment of the match, especially one as tight as this. And there goes Kunatani, halfway line, showing them up. Tatamaki makes a good tackle. This time it's gone to Verimalu. Tio Tuai is on the field. Verimalu again. Tight, tight marking by New Zealand. Tuai, wide this time to Ravuvu. This is dangerous. from the Fijians taking its toll. See the ball play there, nice under the arm pass from Pio Tuwa, and from there they spread it wide. New Zealand were walking deep on their far side of the field. Orman can't get across and he puts it down with authority, does Talinga. Conversion goes through, Fiji 14, New Zealand 10, here it is again. Just a little dummy there, throws off the final defender for New Zealand. He's too quick, he gets on the outside. We know how fast this guy is. Looks for the corrections service. So uh, maybe he's chasing people around the countryside for his fitness. Look at that team tries. They're well ahead for the whole season, aren't they? New Zealand back, 52 tries behind them. Here's where, but it's lost Anthony forward offside, by strong. New Zealand accidental offside. Referee is uh, Matt O'Brien. Formerly from Australia, and now he's Senor O'Brien from uh, Argentina. Oh, I'm sorry, from Brazil. Rio. 
chance I'd like to see that again if we could. That was a high kickoff. There was only one man competing in the year for Fiji. Passes completed that dominated at the moment because they love to offload the ball. He's gone from the backs into the forwards, just as you called it, Carl. And here they come again. There's Kalinga scored the try. All the Fijians are starting to look good here, aren't they? Some of the passing isn't quite uh, as smooth as you might see in a textbook. Oh, maybe some of the catching isn't as well. And that one's gone forward. Advantage for Fiji. Let's see if they can collect themselves. It's a difficult ball. Uh, slippery as a herring on a wet plate. Advantage for Early on today, wasn't it? But the field hasn't cut up at all, Keith. There was puddles on it earlier on this afternoon, but now strained away and given a good track for these two things. But still, there is a lot of dew on the ground and making it very tough for these passes. And what's your call, Carl? Still spin it to win it okay. as, the, as the kind of sevens Go position. Sunny Bill is going to come up. back on here, so I think New Zealand, they have to be stable at the front. Set piece first. I think you give it to Isaac to Tamki and let him have a go. He's the fastest player in the New Zealand team. Come on. Get him on a one on one matchup, and this is the best opportunity to do it at scrum time. Yeah, the, the Fiji guys are much bigger, and so for them to turn on the surface a wee bit treacherous might be a bit like asking the Queen Mary to turn. It takes a little bit slower than other bit. Craft, and this is a sad sight. Lewis Ormond, who plays, in my mind, a way above his weight, but is a terrific addition to the New Zealand 17. He's gone to the sideline. And here it is with Kurt Baker. Now, here's Tatamaki. Now, they're going to give him a chance to go. He's going to have a crack. But again, it's that slippery leather. Good defense, though, from Talinga, the try score. He got down on the outside. He had good makeup speed and knocks the ball out of. Isaac Tamaki's hand just as he was starting to get the legs pumping and go halfway through that hole. Kurt Baker saying, Don't worry, mate. That's what we wanted. Just a buzz around the ground now. People absorbed in these recent moments. Tutaki back in the battle of the front end loaders. Halfway line. Pulling this out. He's been here in various guises with the different coloured hair, the shapes, colours. And uh, he's been a brilliant player, and that time he lost it forward. It's amazing what a bit of pressure does to good players, isn't it, Keith? In finals, usually the Fijians will hold that any day of the week, but on this occasion, New Zealand's constant pressure in the face of Fiji starting to take its toll and now they set it up they have the ball on the tech they chuck SBW at center yes there is Sonny Bill Williams out in the center so he's had a role in the forwards and now out in the center as Aki has but there's a bit of bustle and now here is Tetamaki he's given it to Sonny Bill he matches up and flicks it out the side door to Ware. Ware and Kalinisa. He certainly gives it heat, doesn't he, Regan Ware? It's went backwards from Kalinisa. Baker has been well marked. Forbes, Kaka. Oh, yes, nice. Akita Aki. They get him into space. We've seen already in this game what his sidestepper can do. comes Rabubu. Oh, now it's with Nasila Sila and Kunakane is in under the posts. That one really hurts. Semi Kunakane. Well, it started all the way back at the breakdown for Fiji. P or two way, the big man going right through the middle of New Zealand's ruck, taking out the halfback as well. Here it is here. Did he release the play out tackle play takes out the cleaner and the halfback then they spread it to the short side and semi kunatani didn't take long to find his seven's legs did the beast and well he is a home run hitter and he's hit this one out of the park in this final and 
the kick is converted 21 to 7 it's a good lead now with only a minute and 20 to play will there be any bounce back from New Zealand to play in the final it's caught by Williams for New Zealand Aki. Sonny Bill having a go on his own well not quite oh it looked that's a brilliant offload but the uh, didn't see it coming the referee's called a scrum been a tough final, Carl, but it's uh, going to go the correct way in terms of the result. Well, it's been physical, Keith, no doubt about that. These two teams haven't taken a backward step whatsoever. Only 27 seconds left. Maybe the clock is going to be against New Zealand. Who have been gallant. Remember, they have to go to extra time in their semi-final to get over South Africa. So maybe fatigue to play in its part as well. They had the two periods of extra time in that semi-final. It was really Five. tough going. And then these guys are really led weary. Oh. Not saying it's just the New Zealanders, the Fijians as well. Not pushing straight. Taken by him. Oh, he gets hit very hard by Rabubu. Had a good roll in the finals, Rabubu. And referees awarded the penalty as the siren goes for the end of the game. There is Waisali Saribi watching. He was the winner of the Leslie Williams Trophy for the best player here, playing in the best spirit of sevens five times. My co-commentator Carl won it twice. And we'll see who wins it from the awards this year from all the countries taking part. But meantime, the major trophy here is going to go to Fiji, and that's thoroughly deserved. And the man who seals it is the captain, Osea Polinisau, number seven. He kicks the ball away into the stand for someone to take home to Suba as a souvenir. And Ben Ryan and Gordon Kitchens embrace and agree, perhaps, in their own hearts that the best team won. Tremendous final, tough final. Disappointment for Forbes and the New Zealand team. They gave it plenty, but a merited victory for Fiji here tonight.